Okay, I'm just going to start with the first initial impressions. Did she make it past 16? Yes. Okay. If you take out a picture of her at the age of 16, that's the age she chose to revert to. She called herself the edgy princess. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, she also kept laughing about the tattoo. So somebody got a tattoo for her. So she's just yeah. referencing the tattoo. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's funny to her. So it must have been somebody that either she didn't think would get a tattoo or... Um, her grandmother. Okay. <laughs> that, that'd be somebody I wouldn't expect to get a yep, tattoo. Yep. Okay, so will you let her grandmother know that she laughed and she thinks that's funny? But You bet. You know, okay, great. Okay. Um, and then she turned music up in my head like really loud, like music was important to her, but maybe... Um, uh, you didn't always agree on music because it just feels like when she was younger you might have agreed on it but then her taste got a little I don't know out there somehow but she kept referencing her music mm -hmm. um, being different and then she kept going like this like with a CD did somebody make a compilation of her songs for her after she passed there was a CD stuck in the car stereo okay that, that I have that I play okay okay good And then she says she didn't always make good decisions, and she said she's sorry. Yeah. Okay. She really did think she was invincible a lot of her life, so there's a level of risk-taking to her. But she also does say she loved her parents more than anything. And like she had this part of her personality that she was so easily wounded, but she was also so guarded at the same time when it came to other people. Uh -huh. Like if somebody hurt somebody she loved, you know, she would definitely step forward on that person. <laughs> oh, she's given a couple black eyes okay. before to okay. tell her men <laughs> okay. for her okay. girlfriends. So she's got that, that energy. Uh, she feels almost like... Um, she was a, you know, she could be feminine, but she also had the side to her that could like fix things or try to fix things or um, wanted to kind of be one of the boys. Mm -hmm. And so she's referencing that's who she is. Okay. And you might have to talk to her friends, but she keeps referencing like a Brittany connection to her. So I don't know who Brittany is to her, but mm -hmm. she keeps referencing being around Brittany. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you know who that Brittany is? Brittany Rubel, yeah, a friend, a, a co cheerleader of hers. Okay. Okay. I don't, I hope that doesn't freak Brittany out, but if she's open <laughs> to it, let her know that she's around Brittany, that okay. she spends time around her. Because it feels like Brittany probably knows she's there and she's trying to come through to her. Okay. And then she says, don't be mad. So uh, around the time that she died, was she doing something maybe she shouldn't have been doing? There's unanswered questions about the accident. Okay, okay. She knows that hurting her dad would be the worst thing in the world to her. Like she never wanted to hurt him. You know, so she must have been actually her stepfather okay. probably more. Okay. Well, she had said father figure before, yeah. but to them, there's no step in the word. Right. So that's her dad. Okay. Was he around when she was seven? Had he come into the picture yet? No. Okay. She did revert to seven though, so maybe she just felt like that with mm -hmm. him. Like maybe he may let her be a little girl, mm -hmm. but sh that's what she chose to revert to. Okay. She doesn't want you to think about her not walking down the aisle or not having the things that her friends have. She's sorry about that. Um, she always kind of thought maybe she wouldn't grow old. There was something to her that just never saw herself getting older, you know? She couldn't believe all the people that came out for her. She felt so loved, you know, so she's talking. But she's funny, because she's almost showing, like, um, pink and black. You know, I know pink is very girly, black's very edgy, and it just feels like she's kind of that, like she has yeah. that edge to her. But she still likes to put a tiara on her head, so she's still girly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and she's, she's, like, pictures girls crowding in and kind of doing this like snapshots and making faces she's like just take out all the pictures mm -hmm. and she says pictures are going to keep coming to you too from other people copying theirs and giving them to you and she says she's kind of orchestrating it when you need it okay she also says she likes the balloons so somebody's doing a balloon release I got for that her. out of your book okay that really worked yeah <laughs> so 
Did you already do that for her? For her birthday. Okay. She liked the balloons. She likes to lay on the couch and just wrap up in a blanket and like watch TV, like watch movies. So in your family room, she'll still lay there. And that's one of the places she likes to be the most, okay? She says it's not going to get easier soon, but eventually it will. But she sees what's going on, and she knows that you haven't let go, and she understands. She says she gets it. Mothers don't let go. No. <laughs> okay. She says other women who've been through what you're, she's showing you in a circle of other women. So you'll end up with a support group, and she's showing you with other women, and they understand what you're going through. So if you're not there yet, then that's a place you'll end up, okay? And then she's going like this. Do you have a necklace for her? It's hers. Okay. So you wear her necklace. It carries her energy. She likes it. <laughs> she's just letting you know, okay? She really likes small animals, like um, yappy dogs and cats and stuff. And mm -hmm. so she says they know when she's around. So she's just letting you know and the family know that not to kick them out. <laughs> that it's not their fault. It's just her, yeah. you know, okay? And then she, uh, she keeps referencing everybody wearing her shirt or everybody wearing her shirts, but she keeps referen referencing her shirts. So if you didn't have shirts made for her, then people would be wearing her shirts? I'm you, wearing her shirt. Oh, you're wearing her shirt. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. You're not going to be the only one, though. She's no, I gave a couple of her shirts to her best girlfriends. Okay. That's what she wanted. <laughs> so, so you heard her. She's yeah. communicating with yeah. you. Okay. So she sees the people wearing her shirts. She likes it. She says room stays the same. Um, did you keep her room the same? We've always set our, her stuff up and kept okay. her stuff. Okay. She likes it. So <laughs> I guess she's not ready for that not to be there. Okay. And then her shoes are special or her shoes are she important? She had to wear platforms. <laughs> Even sandals had to be platforms. <laughs> she, she's, that was a shoeaholic. <laughs> okay. Did you keep her shoes? Oh, yeah. Okay. Good. <laughs> it seems she still plays in them. She holds her, and I'm not going to say step because she won't say step. He's her dad. She holds his hand and tries to, like, help him through it because he didn't see her as a stepdaughter. He saw her as his daughter, and so they had that relationship. She says too much Jack was drank in her honor, so somebody drank a lot of whiskey after she died. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> she says she just loves a good party. Just make sure yeah. you keep having one for her and she'll keep showing up. But she's still living in your house. She's chosen not to go. Okay, so when you put on a movie, uh, a DVD or whatever that's like more of a chick flick, mm -hmm. she'll watch it with you. She, she likes that. Um, did you have a question about around her death? Yes, I do. Okay. The, the accident. I, there's just certain things that just aren't clicking on what happened. I, I went there the other day because the anniversary was the 12th. Okay. Okay, let me just see what she says around the accident. She says it was more than just her that was responsible. So was there somebody in the car with her? Yeah. Okay. She says it's not going to change anything. She just doesn't think it matters, you know, and that's easy for her to say. But she felt some responsibility in her passing, so she had a hand in it. Mm -hmm. um, it just feels like... This is what it feels like. It feels like they weren't paying attention. They weren't completely present. So I don't know if there was any drinking or something that may have gone on. But they don't feel like they're paying attention. It just feels like um, 
a bad storm. Yeah. You know, everything that could go wrong did go wrong then. And so she's just showing it being more accidental but with stupidity. Yeah. Does yeah. that make sense yeah. to you? Yeah. But at the same time, she doesn't want to blame the other person because she feels as responsible. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And does she realize it's almost her birthday here in a couple days? Well, she said she loves a good party. She had just said that. <laughs> she said she'll always be at the party. But she does do this. And she says she'll always love you, always, and just keep talking to her and stop asking her why, okay? I'm going to break my connection with her and send her with the two of you. Can we show them some support? Thank you.